Oh, that's kind of right. It is 5.36 a.m. It's roughly 23 degrees outside. We have a photo shoot this morning at 11 a.m. Let's go for a bit of a jog. Wake the body up. Socks, long johns, Walmart sweatshirts, and Brooks. Run until the hands freeze, I guess. One more door to go through before we get to the outside air. Let's see how long my smile lasts. Brisk. This morning's pace is as fast as you can go without your lungs turning to ice. So I'd say like five miles an hour. Here's Fifth Ave. That's the Washington Square Arch. And this thing just runs north for like a while. So let's see how far north we can get. What are you looking at? I'm just working on my hips. We're at a crossroads. Empire State Building, straight, or Times Square? Uh, Times Square it is, let's go. I wanna see some early morning ads. You know, what's running at 5.30 a.m. in Times Square? Saving the city one cup at a time. Oh, what if someone was saving that? Some guy comes running out of the next door. <laughs> hey man, how's my karma mocha frap? I think that's shampoo? What's over there? Oh, betting, huh? Win some money, lose some money as well. Gambling's not a joke. That's my type of ad right there, baby. Yeah, I'd be that happy to get a chocolate bar too, my guy. Now I'm gonna run towards that sunrise. Let's see how far we get. All right, I say we head back. My hands are starting to freeze and the sun's starting to come out. But we beat the sun this morning. Got one on you, you old ball of gas. Next up on list of things to do, shower. Pretty simple. Just have to go out the door, down the hall, into the shared bathroom. I'm gonna have to wear my shower sandals. Slip these bad boys on. I like to pick this last door because it's a pretty nice shower head. The other one? The other one's a bit splashy. Okay, all right. <laughs> but take a look at this one. Guys, it's just like camping, okay? It's better than camping though. This is a full-size shower. Where would you shower if you were camping? A lake? Actually, showering in a lake sounds like a lot of fun. Just shampoo yourself, dunk your head underwater. Fight a fish, shower transition. <laughs> wow. Yeah, need to do my hair, I guess. That's better. Okay, oh, it gets a little stuck sometimes, so you gotta give it a good yank. Let the shoes drain. You don't wanna be dragging a whole bunch of water everywhere. People live here, okay? Well. To dry my hair, I just do like a rather vigorous. Dried. The next step is to get dressed. So I'm thinking turtleneck. It's warm. Feels like a hug. <laughs> I've got these pants. Got them for five bucks at Goodwill. Look at them. A little wide. Look at the bottom pant, huh? Plenty of room there. Room for the ankle to breathe. Room for you to dance. Those are actually my two requirements for any clothes. Room to breathe, room to dance. We have to be there by 11. I want to get there 15 minutes early, so 10.45. It's 9.50. So we've got like nine minutes to make breakfast. And we're gonna do something simple. Peanut butter bread. If you're wondering, AJ, 
Why not just add jelly to this? It'd be so much more appetizing. Ran out of jelly. And, uh, I'm kind of like a eat everything that's in the house before you go out and buy new groceries kind of guy, so. Got a lot of peanut butter to go through. Next, we just fold it in half. Peanut butter taco. It's pretty good. It's a little thick. So make sure you have your water. With that, we're early. Let's head out. Take the six, transfer to the four or five, and then we'll be up at 125th Street all the way in Harlem. got off and now we'll transfer to one right here on the other side of the tracks you just walk off walk on to the next one it could not be any simpler We are 19 minutes early. I guess we could throw some snow around. <laughs> Look at this bed store. Do you think that'd fit? It'd take up the entire room. It'd just be door, bed, but it looks so comfy. It's romantic too. It's almost Valentine's Day. What am I gonna do on Valentine's Day? Just gonna be me in the air fryer, cozied up? Gotta learn to spend time alone, all right? It's important, it's good for growth. And for... <clears throat> the purpose of these photo shoots is to build a portfolio. Can you believe that? I get to have a portfolio. We are with Gabe. We are Hello. in the shooting location. What's the plan? What's the goal for today's shoot? We're shooting stuff that's a little bit like edgier, so I just want to see exactly how that's going to look at him. Some ripped jeans, a large puffer jacket, mama's turtleneck. I'm feeling good. All right, we're about to do the hair before shot, before spritzing it. There's the after. Second outfit. We've got some jeans from GCDS, shirt from Kyleek, hair. You just did that. I feel like a mob boss. I look like the plug for street peanut butter. Need anything? Need a little something? PB, PB, PB. These are chunky. Wide foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for like a wide guy. I'm pretty wide. <laughs> Short in stature, wide in girth. <laughs> Next outfit involves a tie. He's gonna tie the tie. I, I'd have to look up the YouTube video if I wanted to do this. How to tie a tie in three easy steps. See, I, nope, you already lost me. Outfit number three. Got the same shoes, same pants. A blazer and a tie. James Bond. If he was 20 years old and lived in the smallest apartment in New York City. What should I be thinking? Business thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> Strategy. Yeah. That's cool. EBITDA. We have a leather trench coat vest by Kylie. I look straight out of the Matrix. Red pill or blue pill, Neo. Putting a little bit of lotion on the arms. I'm oiled up. I heard this is what they used to do in battle, so they just slip off each other. You know, like if they were to joust. I'm not sure who I'm gonna joust, but... I bet in the entire city of New York I can find at least one person who has a jousting stick. And I bet they're on the subway. Last outfit of the day. Very nice turtleneck by Theory. Zara trench coat. Another mob boss outfit. Last shot, we're going up a ladder to the rooftop. Yeah, just filming for insurance purposes in case you fall. <laughs> we're gonna have to file a claim. Do you know how to do that? I'll do it. I'd be happy to, I'm in my business suit. Last shot of the entire shoot. Any <laughs> tips for the last shot? Just have fun and try to take in all the views in the city. That's a wrap. <laughs> Such a good time. 
Um, yes. Working with you. How'd the shoot go? How do you think? I mean, it went so well. Actually, such a good personality. It was so fun. It was so easy to like get to know you. Constructive criticism. What's something I can work on? I think it's important to just like not hold back when you shoot. Like, you know, like smile, like have some expressions, and just like enjoy it and try to like feel the photographer's energy. The fashion week's coming up. What are your plans? I'm gonna shoot a lot of talent that's in town. A lot of people are usually in town that I don't normally see. So it's nice to like have some friends that are like, coming from LA or from Europe. So it's always a good time. You have friends from Europe? Yeah. Okay. What's the best tip and trick to get the perfect photo or video? I would say definitely experiment with different lighting. Like try like do different sets of pictures in different areas so you can see where the lighting looks best. Don't ever post something right away. So you can at least live in the moment and you don't judge it too hard right then and there. Thanks for shooting, it was awesome. fantastic. You're so nice to work with Axel, so thank you. Back to the apartment. That's it, we're headed back. Not bad for a second photo shoot. I feel very cool. You know, you ever throw on an outfit and you feel like the character you're supposed to be? That's me. Threw on a large vest, I felt like a Spartan. I don't have the muscles of a Spartan because I don't look like Gerard Butler, not yet. Can anyone tell me what Gerard Butler's workout routine was? Because that man looked incredible. Or like Brad Pitt in Troy. Just that jump and that slice, the jump slice. It's literally the opening scene of the movie Troy and he just goes, <laughs> sticks a guy in the neck. Now we're headed to the subway. I'm on 125th Street in Harlem. Never been here before, but obviously it has great views. These Harlem pigeons, man, they're built different. Hey, how you doing, Mike? Quick, quick question here for ya. Who do you work for? There's still so much snow on the streets. Yesterday, I had my first snowball fight in Washington Square Park. I got absolutely pegged. <laughs> and just like that, we're back. I've got some leftover chicken. It was delicious before. It's gonna be delicious again. I'll, uh, I'm trying to think of something else I could do with it. Chicken and waffles. I have some Eggos. Come on! How does it do that? How can hot air make chicken look that good? Just just raw dog the plate? Yeah. Don't really microwave much anyway. Just potatoes. Wiggly but warm. Boom, boom. Couple of droplets right over the top of the chicken. Finish it off with another waffle right on top. Chicken and waffles. Could use a little bit more maple syrup, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Could be a 10 out of 10 if the waffle was less floppy and more crispy. And that's on me. We can work on it. Toaster. That's the next appliance we're looking at. Meal is now finished. Chicken and waffles. Very good. I'm thinking we head on over to East River Park. I haven't been east. I have made it to Tompkins Square Park. The sun set unbelievably fast. It's very cold. A lot of ice. It's calming out here. It's just me in the snow. I definitely feel very muggable right now. Give me everything you got. I'm like, you want my turtleneck? He's like, no, I meant your cash. I'm like, no, try it on. See how it looks. Can you hear the sounds? The music coming from the room above. The smooth jazz, the place of the city streets. There's no place like New York because New York isn't like any place. It's cold in the winter and warm in the summer. And oh my God, that is frightening. <laughs> it looks like real people. I don't like that at all. Oh, I don't like that at all. I'm so tempted. <laughs> I know I don't need another one, but three beds. That would be a hell of a lot of guests. I really don't know where I'd fit it. The only other space I have for a bed is above my loft and that's a queen. And the loft is twin size, so we just have to cut it in half. And I have a knife. I think the East River Park's over there. So I'm across with that bridge. What's the opposite of being afraid of heights? That's me. Like the higher I get up, the more excited I get. Like parachuting, I'd be so down for that. And you get licensed and everything, and then you can just jump out of planes whenever you want. Not whenever you want. I mean, you have to be like in a specific type of plane that lets people jump out. I'm not sure just opening the door on your next Delta flight would be the best move. Guys, I have made it to the East River Park. A lot of snow, 
I didn't exactly bring my snow boots, bought my Air Monarchs. <laughs> I just looked backwards to see my tracks in the snow. <laughs> They are not a straight line at all. There's AJ stepping in the snow. Where is he going? He's going over there. No, he's not. He's coming back this way. One small step for man, one giant leap for a smaller man. Oh, there's a track that runs all the way around it. I walked straight through, straight through the snow, soaked my boots for it. Could have just walked on the track that they conveniently shoveled. How did I miss that? I'm genuinely concerned about my memory. Like I've, I've just been forgetting things left and right. Forgot my name the other day. Forgot my name. Someone said, hi, Axel? And I was like, no, Alex. I said, no, you had it right. It was Axel, it's Axel. So I'm headed back to the house, to the apartment. I'm headed back to the apartment. It's not a home, okay? Home is where my mother is and that's final. Now it is time for one of my favorite parts of the day. Edit. Oh, get it out. It's 11.30 p.m. now. Done some good editing. I'm gonna watch YouTube now. You ever just find yourself down a YouTube rabbit hole and all of a sudden you're watching someone restore French Chateau? I'm not French. I've never even seen a castle but I'll watch someone lay some brick. Time for the nightly tooth brushing. I love brushing my teeth. It just feels so minty and so clean. It's time for a shower. Towel transition. Did that work? Cool, great. Showered, tooths are brushed. I'm ready for bed. There's only one thing left to do, and that is jump on the bed. Why? Because I'm an adult. I can stay up all night long. In the past two months, we've gotten verified on TikTok and hit 4 million. We've gotten verified on YouTube and hit 200,000. We got verified on Instagram and hit 200,000. We got a modeling agency contract. We did the Kelly Clarkson show. We even did Inside Edition. They came to the room. They didn't laugh at my double beds. I cannot uh, reiterate enough how honored I am to have you along for the ride. It just seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun ah, for both of us. All right, have a great night. Thanks for watching, bye.